Vale, está bien, ya estoy en clase, así que nos vemos, ¿ok? Vale, pues ahí, gracias, Jimmy. Bueno, bendiciones. Good evening, welcome. Hello, turn, turn on your cameras, please, and microphones. Okay. Welcome to the class, Lorena. Welcome to the class, Carmen. Welcome okay. to the class, Saul. And welcome, Mario. How are you doing? Como están? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, very nice, good. Thank you. Very good, excellent. Okay, did you work on the platform? Repeat, please. Okay, I know Carmen did because you uh, you sent me that. But Lorena, did you work on the exercises on the platform? En qué ejercicio voy de la plataforma? Sí, si sí, hizo el ejercicio, creo que era el 1.7. ¿Ah? 1.7 era, ¿verdad? El, creo que era el 1.5 y el 1.7. Ah, sí, es, voy en el 1.10, pero allí sí estoy. Ok, no hay problema. Ahí, eh, me gusta que vayan adelantados, ¿verdad? porque bueno. eso es lo que vamos a corregir hoy. ¿Ok? Sí, eh, Mario. Dos, dos, me están dando vale. Eh, en los últimos 10 minutos, me recuerda Lorena, si en el transcurso de la clase no le ha quedado claro, me recuerda moverme a la plataforma para que veamos esos ejercicios en los cuales a usted ha tenido problemas. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, sí. Vaya, excelente. Y Mario, good evening. Turn on, turn on your microphone, Mario. Turn on your microphone. Eh, encienda su micrófono, Mario. Yes, I got in the platform. Okay, very good. That's what I want to hear. Very good. And Saul, have you worked on the platform? Turn on, turn on your microphone. Encienda su micrófono, Saul. Saul Balmore, ¿me escucha? Hola. Sí, la escucho. ¿Ha trabajado en la plataforma? Eh, sí, ya hice dos ejercicios. Ah, ya, ok. Eso era lo que esperábamos, el ejercicio 1.3 y el ejercicio 1.7. Yo les voy a compartir ahorita mi pantalla para que usted la pueda ver. Ok, eso es lo que tengo ahí. Oh, ¿qué pasó? Uy, 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 my goodness. No sé qué pasó aquí. Bueno. Ah, aquí estamos ya. Vaya, eh, aquí está la plataforma. Ahorita se las... Se las voy a mostrar. Ok. Ok. Esto es lo que vamos, esto es lo que usted tenía que trabajar, el ejercicio 1.5 y el ejercicio 1.6, ok, el 1.7, ahorita se lo estoy mostrando, el ejercicio 1.7, ok, y eh, yo les pedí de que si podían ver el video de la 1.9, que se trata de Simple Present Questions, en conversation, I get up at noon. ¿Ok? Vaya, si hasta ahora no lo han hecho, tranquilito, ¿verdad? Pero sí quiero de que nos vayamos acomodando a cómo debe ser para que aprovechemos mejor. ¿Ok? Si usted ve el video, en un ratito en el almuerzo, el video solo es de aproximadamente eh, tres o cuatro minutos. ¿Me explico? Vale. Si usted ve el video y trata de hacer, porque después de ver el video, usted se puede venir y hacer el Knowledge Check 1.10. Si el, hubieron algunas preguntas, mire, solo son cinco. O sea que ha de ser sencillo. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, si usted aquí tuvo alguna dificultad, nosotros hoy en la clase 
vamos a solventar esas dificultades. ¿De acuerdo? Bien. Pero antes de que entremos a esto, vamos a ver un poco de esto. ¿Ok? Aquí nos habíamos quedado ayer. ¿Se acuerda? En Simple Present Statements, I walk to school, affirmative. En negatives, I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school, you don't live near here. He works near here, he doesn't work. Y mire, como doesn't, es la, inflect, es la conjugación de do, ya va conjugado, el verbo, mire, va sin s, porque el auxiliar ya está conjugado, ¿ok? She takes the bus to work, she doesn't drive. We live in with our parents, we don't live alone. They use public transportation, they don't need a car. Ok, y habíamos hecho este ejercicio. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, excelente. Vamos a pasar a la siguiente página. Y en la siguiente página tenemos esto, ¿verdad? Simple present statements with irregular verbs. ¿Cuáles son los irregulares? Have en has. ¿Por qué? Porque no solo le agrego la S, sino que cambia, ¿verdad? Entonces, el, la tercera persona de have, the third person singular of have, is has. Now, we do. This is the main verb. Vaya, quiero explicar esto. Aquí aparece do. Sí, do puede aparecer como auxiliar y también como verbo principal que significa hacer. Entonces aquí, we do our homework every day. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? My mother does a lot of work at home. Y ahí está ya conjugado el do. Es irregular porque no solo le agregamos la S, sino que le agregamos la S. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. ¿Ok? So goes is the third person conjugation of go. ¿Ok? Okay, you remember that we saw that here, okay? Remember that we say the third person with the regular verbs and with the irregular verbs. And we say verbs ending in SS, X, CH, SH, or the letter O, we add ES. And have, that is has. We also saw that verbs ending in Y preceded by a vowel, okay, Cons I'm sorry, consonant plus Y, we change the Y for I and add ES. Ya habíamos dicho de que los verbos que terminan en Y precedidos de una consonante, botábamos la, la Y y le agregábamos IES, ¿verdad? Y today, We are going to see negative sentences. To form the negative sentence, we use the auxiliary do not. Again, the only variation occurs in the third person where we use does not. Does is the conjugation of do. Okay? So, I talk, I do not talk, or I don't talk, contracted. She talks, she does not talk, or she doesn't talk. You sleep, you do not sleep, or you don't sleep, contracted. Carol studies, Carol, third person singular, does not study, or Carol doesn't study. We study, we do not study. Now, in the negative, The main verb is always in the bare infinitive. Ok, esto es bare infinitive. En su forma base. Infinitive. Without two. It doesn't change for the third person. We don't put S on the end of the verb in the negative form. Aquí en las per terceras personas no le ponemos S al verbo. Porque la conjugación del auxiliar 
ya nos está indicando que ya está conjugado. ¿Ok? So, eh, in the examples above, talk, sleep, and study do not change in the third person. He speaks Italian. He doesn't speak Italian. Is the negative. Okay, remember, do not can be abbreviated or contracted to don't. And does not can be contracted or abbreviated to doesn't. Okay? Questions. No questions, right? No questions. Okay, very good, very good. Now, here I have like a summary. Esto es como un resumen. Auxiliary. Para hacer preguntas, uso el auxiliar do para I, you, we y they. Y el verbo y luego, y fíjese, el auxiliar va antes que el sujeto. Y para tercera persona singular, does. And it goes before the subject. Y va antes del sujeto. Y el verbo en su forma base. Un complemento y el signo de interrogación. ¿De acuerdo? Vaya, eso es para las preguntas. Eso es lo mismo que vamos a ver ahora. Pero primero vamos a hacer un repasito. Fíjense bien. Nos vamos a venir aquí a arrange the words to make sentences in simple present. ¿Verdad? Ok. So, vamos a ver. Let's see what are this. Ok. So, I can use I. The verb is collect. I collect okay. stamps. Ok. Vamos a ver. Voy a dejar de compartir un momento porque quiero ver cuántos tenemos. Ok, ya están todos aquí. Ok, very good. Uh, Saúl Arnulfo, welcome to the class. Ana Miriam, welcome to the class. Andrea, welcome to the class. Estela, Carlota, Fernando, Gerardo, Fátima, and Reina. Welcome to the class. Ok. So, today we are going to do, as a reminder, como un recordatorio, vamos a hacer ejercicios con simple present affirmative sentence, con uh, oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? Y para ello, for that, I need you to go to the material that I that I send you, oh, oh, vamos a ver, ok, let me see, ok, so, page number six, eh, that is page number six, vamos a ver, si me puedo salir de aquí un momentito, ok, Okay, page number six. Uh, okay, very good, here. So that is page number, bueno, no sé cuál página es, pero es este, el ejercicio número dos. Okay? Luego vamos a hacer este ejercicio, el número uno. Pero este incluye afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Primero voy a explicar las preguntas y luego vamos a hacer ese ejercicio. Bien. Arrange the words to make sentences in simple present. So number one is I collect stamps. Okay. Vamos a ver. Number two. Carmen. We play card games. Very good. We play card games. Excellent. Very good. We play card games. Very good. Uh, Lorena, number three, please. Turn on, eh, encienda su micrófono, Lorena. He reads he, comics. No, he y el verbo. What about the verb? He, he reads, uh -huh. reads comics. 
comics. Very good. Excellent job. He reads comics. Okay. And because he's he, I have to write the S. Very good. Mario Nolasco, number four. Chris. Chris. Sings in a band. Sings in a band. In a band. In a band. Very good. Excellent job. Very good. And we add S because we're talking about he, Chris. Okay, very good. Now, Saul Balmore, number five. We? We had a hamster. A hamster. We, uh -huh, we have a hamster. Okay, excellent work. Very good. Okay, uh, Saul Arnolfo, number six. Okay, Andy and Young like like cola. Okay, Andy and John like cola. Okay, now remember Andy and John are they. Andy y John se convierte en ellos. Y ya en plural, ya no le pongo S. ¿Está claro eso? Ok, very good. Ana Miriam, number seven. She. Be nice. Ajá, pero el verbo be, ustedes ya aprendieron que en presente tiene tres formas. Am, are, and is. Entonces, ¿qué forma es para she? She is. She Ajá, she is. Nice. Ok, very good. Excellent. Ok, uh, Estela. Number eight, Estela. She is nice. Encienda su micrófono, Estela. Perdón. It's ok, it's ok. Ok. Eh, they help their parents. Very good. They help their parents. Excellent job. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlota, number nine, please. The chicken is the big. The children English. speak English. Very good. And remember, the children is plural. Children is plural. Children, niños. El singular de children is child. Uno, ¿verdad? Pero en plural es children. Entonces, esto es como que tuviéramos they. So the children speak English, no le agrego S. Igual que aquí. Ok, let's see. Fernando Martínez, number 10. I buy a newspaper every Saturday. I buy. I buy a newspaper. A newspaper every Saturday. Okay, very good. Every Saturday. Excellent. Great, great job. Okay, now, I want you to repeat after me. Turn on your microphones. Everybody, turn on your microphone, please. Okay? Andrea, turn on your microphone. Open your microphone. Yeah, turn on, turn on. Gerardo, turn on your microphone. Reina, yes, yes. Luis Monzon, turn on your microphone, please. Okay, repeat after me. I collect the stamps. I play, 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 play card games. We play, we play, play, play card games. Game. Okay. He reads comics. He reads comics. Please sings in a band. We have a hamster. We have a hamster. Oh. 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 Like cola. 
And the end, John, John like, like cola. She is nice. She is she nice. Is nice. nice. They help their parents. They, they help their parents. They help their parents. Their parents. The children speak English. The children, the children speak English. English. Uh -huh. I buy a newspaper every Saturday. I buy a newspaper every Saturday. Okay, excellent work. Congratulations. Okay. Now let's go to the negative sentences. In this one, we are going to make negative sentences. But I want you to use contraction, please. For example, I don't watch TV. Okay? I don't watch TV. Okay, let me see who was the last one. Let me see. Carlota, Fernando. Okay, Fatima. Are you there, Fatima? Number two, please. Negatives. We don't play football? No. We don't play football. Very good. We don't play football. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now, uh, Reina Ber Berrios, number three, negatives. It doesn't is in. No, vaya. Okay, look, pay attention. Como aquí, acuérdese que en el, en el presente con el verbo cero estar, él mismo hace sus negativas. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál es la negativa de is? Dicen. Ajá, excelente. And, and so, it isn't boring. It isn't boring. Ok, very good. Pedro Sánchez. Turn on your microphone. Pedro, encienda su micrófono, Pedro. Number four. Uh oh. Nice. Ajá, chi. Doesn't clean her room. Ajá, she doesn't clean. Y mire, como ya el verbo auxiliar está conjugado, el verbo principal sin S. Ok, she doesn't clean her room. Excellent work. Ok, very good. Ok, uh, Gerardo Argueta, please. Number five, negative. Uh, you don't ride your bike every weekend. Uh -huh. You don't ride your bike every we weekend. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, Luis Monzón, number six, please. Andy doesn't. Sandy. Sandy doesn't take nice photos. Doesn't take nice, nice photos. photos. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. And let me see who is missing. Uh, let me see. ¿Qué se nos hizo? Ah, Andrea, number, number seven, please. Number seven. They don't open the windows. They don't open the windows. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, volunteer for number eight. Un voluntario para la número ocho. My advice. He, he buys. No, it's negative. Remember, it's negative. He doesn't buy a newspaper. He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh-huh. He doesn't. Buy a new CD. Buy a new CD. Very good. Buy a new CD. Okay, very good. 
Eh, en number eight, number nine, please. Volunteer, voluntarios. I am not late. I am not late. late. Am not late. Not late. Nos recordamos que el verbo ser o estar, él mismo hace, es el único verbo que él mismo hace sus preguntas, hace sus negativas y hace sus afirmativas, dependiendo con sus tres formas. Am, is, or are. Very good. And number 10, please. She... Has, has a cut. Have a cut. Ajá, va. Y aquí siempre vamos a poner el verbo en su forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque la conjugación ya se hizo en el auxiliar. Entonces el verbo va en su forma base. She doesn't have a cat. Ok, very good. An applause, please, to everyone. Ok. Very good. Now. Eh, let's go back to the book now okay I have the book right here and we have simple present statement with a regular verb how do we go so let's do these exercises quickly Ashley is, is talking about her family and her friend Jason complete the sentences then compare with a partner okay let's see My parents have a house in the suburbs. Vamos a ver. My parents have... Okay, volunteer. My mom... My mom and dad... My mom and dad... Go downtown to work. Go downtown to work. Okay, very good. My... Mom and dad, ay, vamos a ver, vamos a poner más abajito. My mom and dad. Ah, ok, let me see. Ok, go downtown to work. Very good. The next one, my parents are very, are very, are very busy. Busy, busy. So, busy. I do, so do a lot of work at home. A lot of work at home. Work at home. Very good. And yeah. here we have the answers. Can you see it? Very busy. Okay. Yes, I see. Okay, very good. Everybody repeat after me. My, ha my parents have a house in the suburbs. My parents, my, my parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go downtown to work. My mom, my mom and, and dad go downtown, downtown to work. work. Okay, my parents are very busy, so I do a lot of work at home. My, my parents, parents are very busy, busy so I do a lot of, lot of work work at home. home. Excellent, very good. Now, let's go to number two, volunteer. My brother, My brother doesn't, doesn't live with us. With us. With us. He, he has an apartment. He has an apartment, in, has the an apartment in, the in the city. In the city. He goes all day. Very good. And he, and he does, does his his He is right there at night. Very good. Let's see. Repeat after me. My brother doesn't live with us. My brother, My brother doesn't, 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 doesn't live with us. He has an apartment in the city. He has, he has, has an apartment, apartment in the city. In the city. He goes to school all day and he does his homework at night. Okay, very good. And number three? I have a new friend. I have a new friend. A new friend. I have a new friend. Very good. His name is Jason. We go to school and sometimes we do homework together. Very good. Congratulations. So let's look at the answers. Very good. So repeat after me. I have a new friend. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. His name, His name is Jason. Jason. 
We go to the same school and we, and sometimes we do our homework together. We, we go, go to, go to, to the, the same school, school and sometimes, and sometimes we, we do our homework, homework together. Our homework homework together. together. Homework. Okay, very good. Now, uh, we are going to do this pair work later, más tarde. Yes, sir? What is the meaning of busy? Creo que se pronunciado. Busy, ocupado. Okay. Easy. Okay? Easy. Vaya, okay. Uh, pronunciation. We're going to work on pronunciation. Fíjense bien. Esto lo voy a explicar en español para que podamos avanzar rápido. Los verbos, okay, en inglés se usa mucho eh, el sonido eh, que no vibra y el sonido que vibra. ¿Cómo es eso? Por ejemplo, hay verbos que terminan en un sonido que no vibran sus cuerdas vocales. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice take. Cuando usted hace el último sonido, el de la K, take o sleep. ¿Ok? ¿Qué pasa? Sus cuerdas vocales no vibran al momento de pronunciar el último, eh, el último sonido. Entonces, esos verbos simplemente se pronuncian con S. Ejemplo, take, takes. Sleep, sleeps. ¿Le quedó claro? Yes. Vaya, repeat after me. Va, take, takes. Take, 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 takes. Sleep, sleeps. Sleep, sleeps. Vaya, ahora, los verbos que terminan con sonido sonoro, que quiere decir que sus cuerdas vocales vibran, entonces eso se van a pronunciar con z, z, z. Por ejemplo, drive. Y usted cuando pronuncia esa B, puede sentir la vibración en sus dientes y en su labio. Se puede oír cuerdas vocales vibrando. Quiere decir que estos verbos terminan en sonido. Esos verbos se van a pronunciar con por ejemplo, drive, drives. Study, studies. Ok, repeat after me. Drive. 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 Study. Study. Studies. Studies. Ok. Uh, y los verbos que terminen en sonido S. En, perdón, en sonido que no se oye la S. Por ejemplo, dance. Si yo le pongo sonido S, no se va a oír. Si le pongo sonido Z, tampoco se va a oír. Lo mismo sucede con watch. Si yo le pongo la S, no se oye. Si le pongo la Z, no se oye. Entonces, estos verbos se van a pronunciar con is. Dance, dances. Watch, watches. Ok, repeat after me. Dance. Dances. 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 Watch. 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 Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Have, 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 have. Okay, now listen. Page 38, exercise 5, pronunciation. Third person singular S endings. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of the S endings. S equals S. Take. Takes, sleep, sleeps. S equals z. Drive, drives. Study, studies. S equals is. Dance, dances. Watch. Watches. Irregular. Do. Does. Have. Have. Uh, uh. Okay? 
Very good. Now, repeat after me once again. Take. 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 Drive. 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 Okay, very good, very good. Now let's go to this conversation. I get up at noon. Se acuerda que yo le decía que el presente simple se utiliza para hablar de cosas que yo hago habitualmente, regularmente, rutinariamente. Entonces, I get up at noon. Este es un hábito. I get up at noon. Listen. Page 38, exercise 6, conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time did you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, very good. Questions? About pronunciation, questions about vocabulary? I have a question. Yes, what is your question? What is the pronunciation? Serve? Serve. 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 Uh -huh. Serve. 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 Okay, very good. More questions? No questions. Everybody repeat after me. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park. Let's go on to the park Let's on go Sunday. To the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Oh, okay. okay. Let's, Let's go, go in the afternoon. afternoon. I sleep late on, on weekends. Weekend. Weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? What, what time, time, time do you, do you get up, up on Sunday? Sunday? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays? Oh, I that's early. On Sunday. oh, 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 that's early. early. Sundays, Sundays, I get up at noon. noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Really? really? Do you eat do you breakfast, do you eat breakfast, breakfast then? then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Sure. sure. I have, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast mm. all day. Then let's then meet, let's let's meet, meet at, at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, once again, let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to, let's let's go go to, to the, the park on Sunday. Sunday. Ah, otra vez. Vaya, miro algunos que nos están repitiendo. Vamos, let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. On Sunday, time to get up on Sunday. Do you eat breakfast? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up on Sunday. Oh, that's on Sunday. I get up on Sunday. I get up on Sunday. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Sure, Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve they serve breakfast all day. 
Then let's then see. Let's 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 see. Now, I'm going to break you into groups so you can practice the conversation. Okay, take a picture of the conversation, please. Take a picture and send it to the group, please. Did you take a picture? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Everybody, voy a dejar de compartir, okay? Everybody took a picture? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Vaya, el que se quede sin pareja va a practicar conmigo. Ok. O sea, yo le no se meta, no se meta. Si usted está solito, no se meta. Yo le voy a ir diciendo, no se meta a la a la pequeña sala, ok. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna make a groups. Okay, excellent. Create Gerardo and Saul, room number one. Estela and Luis, room number two. Carmen and Fernando, room number three. Andrea and Lorena, room number four. Pedro and Reina, room number five. Carlota and Saul, room number seven. Fátima en Mario Nolasco, room number seven. Carlota en Ruiz, room number six. Saúl Balmore, okay. Oh, and Ana Miriam, you don't go to room number eight. You stay with me, okay? Go ahead, guys. Go to your room, please. Sí, voy a traer el celular. Ah, okay. es que hice la conversación y no la tengo. Okay, go to your rooms, please. Saul Arnulfo, go to room one. Carmen, go to room three. Andrea, go to room four. Excellent. Pedro, okay, and Reina, Carlota, room number six, Carlota. Okay. Miriam va a practicar conmigo, ¿ok? Bien. Bueno, Bien. comencemos. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Usted puede mirar a la pantalla. Mire, yo aquí tengo la conversación en la pantalla. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok. But let's go in the afternoon. I live late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? I tengo club. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All day, okay. Oye. Now, let's switch roles. Vamos a cambiar los roles. Ahora, now you are Jack. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay? okay? Very good. Excellent. Congratulations. Okay? Now let me get back to the, to the groups. Okay? Ok, 
Okay, very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, very good. Very good, good job, good work. Okay, now let me share with you what is on the next page. Okay, on the next page we have simple pressing questions, okay? Now, you see we place the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does before the subject. Can you see before the subject in questions, in questions, okay? Repeat after me. Do you get up early? Do you get, Do up, you early? get, up, early? You get up early? Do you get up early? No, I get up late. No, I get up, I get up late. late. Does he eat lunch at noon? Does, Does he, he eat lunch, lunch at, noon? at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. No. No. Oh, oh. One o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. No, they take the subway. Okay. Y estas son preguntas sí o no, porque la respuesta que usted puede ver es sí o no. Pero estas son preguntas que la respuesta es información. At 10 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, on Tuesday and Thursday. ¿Ya? Ok. Entonces coloco la double H word, coloco la palabra interrogativa antes del auxiliar. Mire. ¿Ve? When, antes del auxiliar. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, repeat after me. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. Okay, when do they take the subway? When do they take the subway? Uh-huh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Tuesday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, very good. And here we have some time expressions. Okay? Repeat after me. Early. 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 Late. 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 Every day. Every day. At nine. At nine. At noon. At noon. At, noon. At, noon. At, noon. At midnight. At, at, midnight. Midnight. At, midnight. at night, at night, at night, in the morning, in the morning, in the, morning. In the, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the evening, in the evening. In the on Sundays, on weekdays, on weekends, on weekends. Ah, fíjese bien, cuando doy la hora, digo, uso la preposición at. Cuando digo al mediodía o a la medianoche, uso la preposición at. Cuando digo noche, uso la preposición at. Pero cuando digo las otras partes del día, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, uso la preposición in. Y cuando hablo de días, uso la preposición on. On Sundays, on weekdays, on weekends. Preguntas. No. No hay preguntas. Bien. Ok. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio rápidamente. Complete the questions with do and does. Ok. We do and does. Vamos a ver. Do you get up early on weekdays? 
Vamos a ver cuál sería la número dos. Saúl Arnulfo. What time do you go home on Friday? Excellent, very good. Lorena, number three. Your father. Cuando decimos your father, ¿cuál sería el pronombre para your father? Uh, he, she, it, we, they. ¿Cuál sería? He. 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 Bye. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para he? Does. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo sería, Lorena? He does. No, no, porque el auxiliar va. Uh, mm, mm. Does your father work on the weekend? Very good, excellent. Carlota, number four. Do your mother cook every day? Ajá, does your mother cook every day? Porque your mother sería she. Very good. Uh, Estela, number five. Do your parents read in the evening? Vaya, aquí uso tú porque estoy hablando de your parents, tus padres, que sería they. Entonces tengo okay. que utilizar do. Excellent. Number six, Ana Miriam. When do your parents shop? When do your parents shop? Pedro, number seven. Do you check? Do you check? Email. Vamos a ver, Mario. But eh, encienda su micrófono, Mario. Does you check? Your email and night? No, porque para you, ¿cuál es el auxiliar? Para you. Do. Do. Do, ¿verdad? Entonces sería. Do you, do you. Do you check your email at night? Do you check your email at night? Very good. Vamos a ver, Saúl Palmore, number eight. What time do you have dinner? Excellent. What time do you have dinner? Anna Miriam, number nine. When do you study? When do you study? Very good. Reina, number 10. Your best friend, su mejor amigo. ¿Qué pronombre es para su mejor amigo? O he o she. ¿De acuerdo? Yeah. Does your best friend drive to class? Does your best friend drive to class? Excellent. Number 11, Gerardo. What time does your father get up? Get up? What time does your father get up? Everybody, repeat after me. Do you get up early on weekdays? Do you get up, Do you get up early on weekends? Weekdays. Uh -huh. Weekdays is día de semana. Weekends, fines de semana. Okay. Number two, what time do you go home on Fridays? What time, what time do, do you go, go home, home on Fridays? Fridays? Okay, does your father work on weekends? Does, does your, your father, father work, work on weekends? Weekend? Does your mother cook every day? Does, does your, your mother, mother cook, cook every, every day? day? Okay, do your parents read in the evening? When do your parents shop? When do your, when do your, do your parents, parents shop? Do you check your email at night? Do you check your email at night? What time do you have dinner? What time do you have dinner? When do you study? When, when do you say you study? study? When do you study? Does your best friend drive to class? Does, does, does your, your best, best friend, friend, friend drive, drive, to drive to class? Okay, what time does your father get up? What, what time, time does, does your father get, father get up? Get up. Okay, but hoy nos vamos a venir a este ejercicio número uno. Fíjense bien. Este ejercicio número uno, solo le voy a hacer un par de ejercicios, usted hace el resto. 
Vaya, aquí me está dando la afirmativa. Esto está en la página, no sé qué en página. Pero es el ejercicio número uno. Entonces dice afirmativa, I play. ¿Cuál es la negativa? I don't play. Excellent. I don't play. I don't play. Very good. And the question? Do you play? No. Do I play? Do I play? Very good. Now, we are going to do number three with he. Now, can you see the negative is he does not answer. What is the affirmative? He he answers. He answers. Yeah, y con ese, porque es afirmativa y tercer persona singular. What is the question? Does he answer? Does he answer? Vaya, y no pronuncie la W. Does he answer? No pronuncie la W. Answer, solo answer. Ok, bien. Yo quisiera de que tal vez para mañana usted puede terminar el ejercicio. Lo vamos a hacer mañana, ¿ok? Y también el ejercicio 4 es acerca de preguntas. ¿Sí? Así que dele y usted haga las preguntas, ¿ok? Mañana las vamos a hacer, las vamos a revisar. Si no tiene tiempo, está bien, yo voy a comprender. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Vaya, ahora, tenemos cinco minutos, quiero irme a la plataforma, ¿ok? Ok. Vaya, nos vamos a ir a la plataforma y eh, supuestamente, supuestamente el día de ahora, usted iba a entrar a ver el video 1.9, ¿verdad? El simple present questions in conversation at get up at noon. Porque si usted tenía una duda, yo le iba a sacar de esas dudas, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Vaya. Vale. Ok, ya con esto, usted ya se puede ir y hacer knowledge check, ¿verdad? Y por ahí, me parece que Lorena tenía una pregunta. En la 2 y la 5... Vaya, en la 2. No, en la 2, fíjense bien, yo tengo que poner what y tengo que escribir, va, por ejemplo, con mayúscula, what time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? O sea, aquí voy a poner con mayúscula, mire, what time. Do you eat lunch? ¿Ok? Y tengo que ponerle el signo de interrogación. Ah, es que si ahí no, dice, dice ya está colocado, dice. No, ahí no está Tal colocado. No necesita colocar el signo de pregunta al final, ya está colocado por usted. Ah, vaya, no ok. Un... Bueno, breve. Si le da mano, es que tenemos que poner el signo. Si no, okay. ya está colocado ahí. Tiene razón. Uh -huh. Podría ser. Acuérdese que esto es computarizado, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces, ese tipo de errores pueden suceder. Como usted puede volver a hacer el ejercicio, si no requiere el signo de interrogación, solo le da Enter. Bueno, por ejemplo, yo le voy a dar Submit. ¿Y qué me puso? Que está ah, bien. Está bien. Sí, sí. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Tiene otra pregunta? La número 5 también lo mismo me pasa. Vale, yes, we play soccer on Saturday. Vale, aquí puede ser, do you play soccer on Saturday? On Saturday. Ah, no, ahí está la pregunta, mire, perdón. Ahí está la pregunta, va. Do you and your friends? Vaya, mire, do you and your friends? Do you and your friends play soccer? Play sports? Play sports on weekends? Puso una P de más, teacher. Ah, ok. 
Play sports on weekends. Ahí, como ya está el signo, así lo dejamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, fíjense, do you and your friends, usted y sus amigos, play sports on weekends. Y le damos submit. Y ahí está buena, ¿verdad? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí, yo, yo tengo sí. una pregunta. Diga. La 3 no me ha salido bien. Vaya. La 3 dice, no, fíjense bien la respuesta. No, this class starts at 9 o'clock. Quiere decir que con esto vamos a hacer la pregunta. Entonces, yo tengo que comenzar con das. 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 this class. Does this class start at 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay. Vale. Y como ahí está el signo, ya no lo pongo. La el apóstrofe, no sé si se la va a tirar mala por el apóstrofe. Bueno, podría ser, ¿verdad? Yo aquí le estoy poniendo el apóstrofe. Si no, ya no me acuerdo cómo era la regla del apóstrofe. Pero eso ya es cuestión de, de computación, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Entonces veamos cómo lo toma. Vale, lo ah, no, ¿verdad? Lo tomó el mal, pero por el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Yes. Y la C también, que es otra C. ¿Cuál C? La C de O'Clock es distinta. Tiene una colita abajo. Ah, veamos. Creo que el O'Clock lo puede, lo puede copiar de la respuesta B, del anterior. Solo ah, le da a copiar. Cierto. Oh, le vamos a dar de aquí, ¿ve? Y eso lo vamos a dar copiar aquí, ¿ve? Vale, y ahora le vamos a dar submit. Excelente. ¿Ya? Ya. Vaya, vale, ok. Bien, vamos a parar hasta aquí para que vayan a descansar, que hagan su tarea, se meten al, al, a la plataforma y por lo menos llega hasta aquí. Ahora, acuérdense que usted tiene que ver ahora el video, el lesson objective. Hacer la plataforma y ver el lesson objective. What's your schedule like? ¿Sí? Tiene que ver este video para la clase de mañana y después se viene a hacer el knowledge check. ¿Sí? Es hasta el viernes o es de lunes a jueves. Es de lunes a jueves, pero como comenzamos martes, mañana vamos a tener clase. Ah, ok. Ah, para reponer la clase de lunes. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes. Así yes. que mañana sí hay clase. Así que espero que usted trabaje hasta aquí y si hay algún problema, aquí lo resolvemos mañana. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Okay. Bueno, okay. tiene dudas? Diga. ¿Y el discussion fair no lo vamos a estar haciendo? ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Siempre haga su discussion part, ¿verdad? Sí. Solo que yo no le he mandado nada todavía que discutir. Se los voy a mandar mañana para que los hagamos tranquilamente durante el fin de semana. Ok. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Vale, ok, excelente. Usted está hablando de estos discussion parts, lo que aquí, ¿verdad? Como yo no le he puesto post, ok, todavía no lo hagan. Ahora, le voy a poner el post referente a esto, ¿verdad? I get up at noon. Entonces, yo le voy a poner alguna respuesta para que usted me ponga las preguntas. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Vale, ok. Pasen buenas noches. Los veo mañana. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Have a good night. Good night. Rest. Go rest, please. Ok. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.